This is a balancing bird. It's a little bit more advanced than the other balancing birds we did, uh, but I've left a link to that balancing bird in the description of the video. So what you're going to need for this activity is you're going to need a printout of the balancing bird. Um, that's in the description of the video also. Uh, you're going to need some card. Uh, so in this case, it's either a cereal box or a pizza box. Um, I have uh, scissors, some colors, a toothpick, some glue, um, some sellotape, and uh, some coins. So I have four coins. In this case, I'm using five cent coins, um, but any particular coin you like is fine. Uh, you don't want something that's too heavy, like a euro, and that's a little bit too heavy. What I've done is taken the page that the bird was on, and we've glued it uh, to some card, uh, and then we have colored it up. Uh, and what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna cut out these two little slots. Uh, at the bottom of its uh, wings. Now, uh, once you've cut the uh, two slots at the bottom, what we're going to do is we're going to take the bird and fold it over. Uh, now, I found this quite difficult because I'm using a cereal um, card from a cereal box, uh, and that's quite heavy. Uh, and so you're trying to get it to overlap as, as much as possible. Uh, and then you're going to add a little bit of glue. Uh, uh, at the head section and the beak uh, and then try and stick it together. Now I have found that this doesn't stick very well with this bird uh, so I, I'm going to add uh, a little bit of sellotape there as well just to keep that together. Once you have the bird folded over then you're going to take it and you're going to push down on the wings so it pushes them out and also put a little crease in the wings so as you bend them this way you give a little curve to the wings. Now what you're going to do is turn it upside down and then you're going to get a um, toothpick and you're going to place the toothpick up here just underneath the wings and then get two pieces of sellotape and put it either side just to stretch the bird out and to give it a bit of strength. Turn like that. Now you'll see the wings of the bird stand out. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to add the tail section of the bird into the two slots that you cut earlier. And then you'll also need to add a little bit of tape to that. Now you've put on the tail section. What I recommend uh, maybe to do is put a little bit of sellotape over the end of the wings, just on this side, just so that when you're putting the um, coins on in a moment that you won't, when you have to readjust them at all, you, the designs won't come off when you're taking this, the uh, sellotape on and off. Um, so if we try and balance the bird now, you'll see that it, it falls down. What we're going to do now is we're going to add weight to the ends of the wings. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, two of our five cent coins and we're going to put that on at the end of the wings. I'm going to put them as far up as I possibly can just so that we get the center of mass as far up in this direction as possible and we get another five cent here and try and keep them at the same point. And then we'll try and balance it. We balance it on our finger. You can see it does balance but it's um, the tail is actually uh, a long way down here, so it's not balanced in this direction. That's because the card that I'm using, um, in this case a pizza box, that uh, card is a bit heavy, and because of that, it's pulling the tail down in that section. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add another two five cent coins to the end of the wings. That's going to change the center of mass again. When we put that on now, it should balance. But as you can see now, it's going in the opposite direction. So the tail has gone up. So obviously we've added too much weight to that section. What we're going to do now is we're going to just, I think the, the four um, five cent coins are right. What we need to do now is move them back a little so that uh, we can get the bird to balance. So what I've done now is I've just moved the um, four five cent coins, so two in each wing. I've moved them back just a little bit. So they were up at the very top. Uh, of the wings, so I've just moved them back a bit. And now when you try and balance it, you can see that I've got the center of mass right, and that it's balancing on your finger. So as you move it, it will move around um, with you. 